The following tutorial is brought to you by WholeLoops.com. E Production time. I'm Reed Stefan, realist puppet in the game. And today I'm bringing you a new way to EQ. It's been a good while since I can last remember an EQ plugin coming along that really brought a new way to EQ to the table. Now this is the brand new split EQ from Eventide. This is also a parametric EQ. You also have the luxury of seeing your audio here on the screen while it plays. And the song that we have here is a track titled Emotional and Unreleased Song by Kara. And we're here inside the Pro Tools session. Let's take a listen. I just need a minute to collect myself I just need a second to get off this bad trip All these revelations just confuse my thoughts Life would be so easy if I made of plastic I don't wanna break, I don't wanna let people see I am not okay, I am not always magic Magic Now you might be wondering, okay, so what's so different about this split EQ? These seem like things that all parametric EQs have been able to do in the past. When plugins stepped into the scene, you started to be able to divide your audio up into all different sort of ways. You could EQ your left ear differently from your right ear. You could EQ the signal that's mono in the mids differently from the stereo with mid side EQ. But now with split EQ, you have the option of EQing transients or tonal information differently. And that would be the attack or sustain of the sound. And that's the essence of why it's called split, because with every band, you have the option to either do the same or different things to each. And you can see the blue is representing the tonal information and the more greenish color is representing the transient information. So now let's think of this in context of a vocal where this would be useful. Well, obviously you could do the typical low cut that you would do to get rid of unnecessary low end information. I just need a minute to collect myself I just need a second to get off this bad trip All these revelations just confuse my thoughts Life would be so easy if I made of plastic And we're doing this to both transient and tonal Now let's get into our first band And I always like to do a nice low end control Just get rid of all that unnecessary proximity effect when the singer's too close to the mic I just need a minute to collect myself I just need a second to get off this bad trip All these revelations just confuse my thoughts Life would be so easy if I made of plastic But I really want to do this to just the tonal information So I'm going to take the transient information and put it back up to the center I'm not going to do this to the transients, just the tonal For the roll off, I'm going to do everything the same so now you can see where it's starting to split from one to the other. Now let's go and do a little bit of DSing, which happens a lot between 5 and 6K. So I'm going to grab this band 5 right here. DSing is mostly in the sibilance, which is the attack and transient of the vocal. So I'm going to pull this down to control the S's. I just need a minute to collect myself I just need a second to get off this bad trip All these revelations just confuse my thoughts Life would be so easy if I made of plastic I don't wanna break, I don't wanna let people see I am not okay, I am not always magic Magic and finally, I want to do a little boost in clarity on the overall vocal. But instead of doing it as a shelf, I'd like to do a peak. I find them to be much smoother, but just with a different shape from the top. I just need a minute to collect myself. I just need a second to get off this bad trip. Without. All these revelations just confuse my thoughts. Life would be so easy if I made of plastic. I don't wanna break, I don't wanna let people see. I am not okay, I am not always magic. You could divide this up between multiple instances of split EQ. But I think it's simpler to just have one general vocal shaping curve. Now you can also increase the separation amount 
which will basically make the cutoff between the transient and the tonal information sharper. But for vocals, I found 50% to be a perfect sweet spot. So as you can see, this really is a new way to think about your sound and a new way to control and manipulate your sound as tonal and transient information for both mixing and mastering. And let's just continue through this Pro Tool session and see where else we could use this EQ. Let's go to the end where we have some ad-libs. A great way to process your ad-libs is with some filtering. So I'm just gonna turn on this built-in filter right here. And let's cut off everything at about 5K. Let's use another filter right here. And we're doing this to everything. Just because this is split EQ doesn't mean you have to split up everything. For ad-libs, I really want things to be completely filtered to make them feel as background as possible. Really nice. So that's a great way to make your background vocals sound a little bit more like ad-libs. In addition to that, I might also add some panning here just to give them some movement. Instead of just having them centered, I like having things kind of just come in left and right. And then I'm just going to copy this automation over to here. Your 808s sound like floppy trash? Are you tired of boring bass lines that just don't hit right? Introducing Disrespectful 808s, the all new collection of 808 bass samples so disrespectful you might just get offended too. Disrespectful 808s is available now only at holoops.com. Let's move on to mixing these background vocals. We've got our lead vocals and our ad libs EQ'd here with split EQ. Let's take a listen to what's going on in the backgrounds. In Pro Tools, you have the option between stereo and multi-mono. This would effectively do the same thing to both sides, whereas multi-mono would give the option to do different things to the left and right side. The first thing I'm going to do is, instead of doing a filter like we did on the ad-libs, is some shelving. I don't want to completely remove all that bass and high frequency, but I do want to remove most of it. And I want to do it from both the tonal and transient. Let's check that one more time and we'll turn the EQ on and off. I don't want to get emotional But how do I suppress it up? I know that I can I can't fight what do if I do it Too deep so I even try Yeah, I'm emotional Acting out the tears won't fall Tears won't fall now And in the same way we created a little bit of a de around 5 or 6K I'm going to do that same thing here too just push down a little bit more on just the transients. I don't want to get emotional, but how do I suppress it up? I know that I can, I can't fight what do if I get it too deep, so I even try. Yeah, I'm emotional, acting like the tears won't fall, tears won't fall now. I might actually do something special here on the outro before we move on and do some EQing in our beat. I'm just going to put another split EQ here at the end of the chain, and I'm going to do some automation with it. That's another really useful trick that I like to do with any EQ. Let's automate this parameter right here, and that would be these two parameters right here. I just want to have a little bit of a filter here on this outro. I'm going to pull both of these down. The 
tonal information filters in, the transient information filters out, making a really unique vocal filtering effect for our outro. Really fun stuff. So as you can see, all new perspective and way to split up your sound like the name entails split EQ and an exciting new way to manipulate your sound. So that's enough vocal processing for this. I'm gonna go down here into my drums group. I have some clipping and transient designing and I'm just gonna go ahead and put another split EQ here. And I'm going to do some EQing just on the transients of my drum groups. So that's going to be this teal line. end sounds really smooth, especially when you're just boosting the highs on the transients by themselves. Let's also do some thickness and boost down here as well. course you have the option to scale back whatever you're doing say you found some frequencies you really liked but you only wanted to do about half as much processing you could pull this down to 50 percent and let's take a listen i just need a minute here to catch my breath i just need a second to replace these bad Bypass. dreams why i gotta be the one to lose my head always superstitious like it's friday 13 i don't wanna break i don't wanna let people see i am not okay showing all my bad habits Bypass. Happy. I don't want to get emotional. And of course, you could dial this in to taste, but EQing your transients in this way really is nice, especially on your drums group. And you could use a similar technique to this in your master chain. But before we get to the master, I want to try split EQ down here on some guitars. Let's see what I could do by having separate control over the tone and transient. Let's just solo this guitar intro. Let's try boosting the tonal in the mids and pulling the transients down. And let's put the transients up in the high frequencies and down in the tonal. Bypass. Back on. Bypass. And back on. Let's push it up a little bit higher. And let's try it in the mix. To replace these bad dreams, why I gotta be the one to lose my head? Bypass. Always superstitious, like it's Friday 13. I don't wanna break, I don't wanna Back let on. people see I am not okay. Showing all my bad habits. Happy. I don't wanna get emotional, but how do I suppress it all? I know that I can. A very nice way to bring out the frequencies that I want the guitars to dominate, and then I want her voice to dominate this frequency, and then whatever crispiness is at the top on the guitars, I want those in there too, because the drums group isn't so busy, I think that's really going to help fill it in nicely. An interesting EQ curve that I've never done before, having split EQ here on the guitars. Now that brings us all the way down to our master chain. Let's see what we could do with split EQ here on our master. Magic. 
To replace these bad dreams Why I gotta be the one to lose my head Always superstitious like it's Friday 13 I don't wanna break, I don't wanna let people see I am not okay, showing all my bad happy Happy I don't wanna get him I just need a minute here to catch my breath I just need a second to replace these bad dreams Why I gotta be the one to lose my head Always superstitious like it's Friday 13 I don't wanna break, I don't wanna let people see I am not okay, showing all my bad happy Back on Happy I don't wanna get emotional But how do I suppress it up? I know that I can So there you have a whole new approach on EQing. The Eventide Split EQ really does take your audio and divide it in a whole new way that we've never seen before with mid-side or dynamic or any of the other variations of the modern digital EQ plugin. Having this kind of flexibility really is a game changer in my mixing and mastering workflow. And I'm gonna save all of these presets and put a download link in the description below for you to download and open all the Split EQ presets you saw in this video for free. My name is Reed Stefan, realest puppet in the game, and I'll catch you guys next time in another tutorial. Peace out.